Good morning. It's Friday today. It's the last day of my Spanish course. My boyfriend has just left. He came here early hours of the morning with my daughter last night. She had a college trip and he went and collected her and they were meant to be in at about 2.30am. It was quarter to three. I was lying in bed. I just went to bed about midnight and I couldn't sleep because I was just... I was just feeling for them being up so late, especially my boyfriend, because he has to be up early for work. And I was lying there thinking, oh no, oh poor I be. Anyway, they turned up very, very late. Izzy is still asleep, of course, and he's just left for work. It's about eight o'clock now. I need to get dressed for the day and get on with my course. I'm not taking a packed lunch today because I just, I flaked out last night. I was like, Phew. I can't go shopping and edit the vlog and it's raining and cold and horrible so I just didn't so I'm just gonna buy lunch out yeah oh and I've also remembered about the existence of Matalan so I'm gonna try Matalan for t-shirts today I've gotta get some it's ridiculous I, I have not got enough to wear every day here I go again on the train yet again wearing my very loud and rather baggy t-shirt that I got yesterday I'm having a cold chilled can of pop today and some marmite buttery rice cakes I've also got fruit in there might have some of that as well and I'm gonna read and I'm probably gonna do a bit of Duolingo Spanish as well I've already been having to read the same sentence about three times to get the meaning from it I'm so slow <laughs> in a mess I'm trying to film with one hand and peel a banana with the other I'm gonna to have to wash my hands when I get in it's a nice day but it's a bit of a chill in the air when the wind blows here I go again I've just been waylaid chatting to one of the other participants that's the fun thing about it isn't it well one of the fun things didn't film anything in class today but it's break time already just getting a coffee much needed I tell you what I'm struggling with tiredness today those look rather nice, those pizza slices for 150 they smell really good. I'm tempted to come back and get one of those for my lunch. Whoops, oh I missed the last squirt again, I did that yesterday, what an idiot. I don't learn, clearly. I finished my Spanish course, I'm so sleepy today, it was that lack of sleep last night. But I really enjoyed it, I'm so glad I did it. I honestly don't know how much stamina I have for shopping, but I at least want to have a look in WH Smith's later. And also Matalan, which is this way, just for t-shirts. I'm in Matalan, they do have loads of t-shirts, relatively plain ones, £4.50. But I don't like those really wide necklines, that's the thing. I wish I wasn't so picky, but I am. I couldn't bear to have those. The one I've got on is bad enough. <laughs> I've come upstairs hoping to find more clothes, but I seem to have got a habit of finding the home section. There's a clearance outlet in here, so I wanted just to have a little sneaky look. I must admit, I've really enjoyed reading that book, even though it's hard work. So I rather fancy having a little mooch around a bookshop or two or three, just to get some, uh, I don't know, inspiration for reading again. But I have got a few lined up at home, so I'm not planning on buying any just yet. Did you know there's a great big reduced to clear section here in WH Smith's in Queen Street? Well, there is. There has been for years. I used to get loads and loads of my home education resources from here, actually, for next to nothing. That's a very pretty address book isn't it <laughs> three pound I don't need one I have some at home that I bought from the works they're a bit out of date now aren't they really everyone uses their phones cartridge pen I've been tempted to go back to a fountain pen again there's something really pleasing about it I am seriously tempted Parker's a good make isn't it I'm doing it I'm getting the fountain pen they've got a few educational materials in here AS sociology mathematics foundation that goes up to a, a D grade well the equivalent of a D I think we've still got the letter grades in Wales actually we did last year anyway the grading system's different in England it's the 9-1 there Oh, my daughter likes these exit games. She hasn't got that one, though. I got her one from a charity shop, which was unopened, you know, still it's cellophane, and I noticed she's played it a few times. Pound in that basket. Oh, that's 50p. 25p for one. I don't know what I'd use it for. A calculator clip. I can see that could be kind of handy. But you can just use your phone, can't you? So a lot of things have just become unnecessary because they're on our phones these days. So many things are becoming obsolete. Ooh, Mr. Below. 
Oh, they're pencils. I thought they were fine liners. 250. We really don't need colouring pencils in our house. We have a lot. You can't get an app for a pencil sharpener though. Ah ha ha. I absolutely love these. I use them all the time for doing colour coded notes. I don't need any though, I've still got two that work, so I'm not going to get any. Oh, that's got different colours again. Maybe next time I'll get that one. This is much more fun than clothes shopping. Oh, how cool. They've got alien and space themed Bix. Look, with those multicoloured pens and just patterny ones, unicorn ones. I need to sort through all my uh, writing implements, you know, and stationery and stuff. It's all spread out over various floors at the moment. I came to have a look at the fountain pens to see if I was getting a good deal or not with my £5 one. There's one for £6.99 there. A lot of them have been a lot more expensive though. They got a whole load of Orchard Toys board games here. They were so good for early education. Me and Izzy used these for years and years at our home school. She was really motivated by them. Bus stop, is it? Oh, we had bus stop, yeah. And I adapted it as she got older as well to make things more complicated. Just used the board and the figures, but made them more complicated. I've got a feeling we did some kind of phonics game with it as well. I can't remember. It's on my channel, probably. Matilda-themed splendid spelling word games. Magnetic money. I used to love going shopping for home ed resources. There are rows and rows of puzzles here. Travel. When I went in my library, I found the travel books were a bit out of date, but maybe they weren't going crazy updating them during the pandemic. Oh, now I'd be quite interested to read that. Cardiff Airport at Roos. I am a bit geeky, you know. I don't go for fiction, although I did very much enjoy reading fiction with my daughter. There's a Ponteprith one there. Oh, look, there's that old bridge been over that a few times in my vlogs. I'm enjoying having a good old mooch around here. Never mind about t-shirts, I'll just do more laundry. I used to really enjoy Stephen King. I wonder if I'll ever get an urge to read fiction again. I can't imagine I will, but you never know. We do change. I change as I get older. I used to love reading fiction. They still have Mills and Boone. I think I had a relative by marriage who used to be a Mills and Boone writer. I really like these super squeezy travel bottles, but I have some, so I don't need any. I got mine from Tiger. Languages. Now that gets me excited. Never a lot in the way of Portuguese resources though. I am fantasising about coming across a lovely Portuguese workbook which drills me in grammar and verb endings. That's what I want and dream of. I'm going to go and pay for this and head to Waterstones actually just for fun and then go home. Oh, distracted by the I Spy books. I love these. I've got that one at home though. I'm going to give mine to Pippa when I see her. Pippa from the Worms Eye View channel. On a car journey. Dogs, all the different dog species in there. Oh, I might miss that one. I'm not a fan. I mean, I respect them and I understand we need them, but I don't want to look that closely at them if I don't have to. Every vehicle on the road. Not really my cup of tea either. Car badges. Oh, I bet a lot of people would like that. I didn't film it, but I just impulsively went in there looking for t-shirts, didn't find any I liked. I bought some of these earlier. Oh, I had that pizza, by the way. I bought that pizza that was by the coffee machine, but I couldn't film it because I had the pizza in one hand and the coffee in the other. But they had these in that shop as well. And um, I'm trying them now because I'm getting hungry. And they're very nice. Mmm, yum. I'm flagging a bit. I need a snack. Just polished off the last of my squash and I'm still thirsty. I might have to go and buy a drink for some description. I'm going to go to Waterstones now. I'm perked up now, I've had a snack. That's all I needed. I'm outside Hayes Island. Fish and chip bar, look, fish and chips, they do. I didn't realise they did fish and chips. I quite fancy them, to be honest. I think I'm going to hold out, though. Oh, very fancy literature-themed puzzles here. 15 pounds. Oh, they've got loads. Oh, how nice. Maybe I should do like, give it the page 10 test or something where I just read one random page and see if it's engaging or not. And if it is, that's a good idea to get that book. <laughs> and if it isn't, no, not to get it. Because no matter how interesting the topic, if the writing style doesn't suit my particular personality, it wouldn't be for me. History of lighthouses. A lighthouse history. <gasps> oh, yeah, see, that's exciting to me. Fake history, 10 great lies and how they shaped the world. Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor. I've got a feeling IB's had that on audio, whatchamacallit, audible.com. Oh, that looks fun. Ancestors, the prehistory of Britain in seven burials. History of the Vikings. <laughs> oh, yeah. I 
saw the series of that on BBC. I really liked it. That might be fun. Not going to get anything today, though. <gasps> oh, it's in Bodkin and Brunel. I bet that's fun. Mm, no, I wouldn't want to read about violence. Not for me. Black Death in the British Isles. Yeah, I'd find that very interesting. Witches. Oh, I remember reading loads about witches with my daughter. It's horrendous how people believed witches were real and persecuted people to death. Really just normal part of life. Oh, Chernobyl. Probably my boyfriend would like that. Subatomic stuff, bit too beyond me, really. I'm basically just quite happy to not understand it. There are other things that I find more graspable and more quickly and instantly rewarding. Oh, this is all World War stuff here, Second World War, First World War, military history. Yep, remember that cure all. <laughs> the GCSE and A level section. I don't have to look in there anymore. Manga section, quite a lot of it. Not something I'm into, but it's here, in case you're wondering. In the gardening section now, this title caught my eye. How do worms work? There's so much amazing stuff to find out about in the world. I'm very excited to find out more stuff. Languages, here we are. Mm. Just as I suspected, this is the entire Portuguese collection. <laughs> Got that one. Got that one. Don't need an audio course. You get all the audio online these days. My daughter's learning Korean. I'm sure she's not ready for Korean reading, though. They've got a turning over a new leaf section. There's a cafe there. I won't vomit because there's people in there, but it looks ever so nice and civilised, and it's so lovely and quiet in here. Anyway, I'm going. I'm going to buy a drink from somewhere and get the train home. Just picked up a three pound meal deal from Tesco's. I can't believe this is three pound. There's two eggs in there. That counts as a snack. I know I'm naughty getting Coke and I'm gonna risk the onions, but I'm not seeing anybody tonight, apart from Izzy. <laughs> onions give me a bit of a bad tummy sometimes. Darth Vader's going in St. David's Center right now. I'm not even joking. I don't know if that actually came out on camera, but that was actually Darth Vader going shopping in the Cardiff shopping center. How unusual. Fair play, I've had a really lovely day today. I'm on the train home now. I'm going to do some editing because it's not too busy and I've managed to get a seat with the table. So I am going to enjoy doing that and I'll speak to you when I get home. I have just arrived home. It's five o'clock in the evening actually. I'm tired and I feel like I have earned a good day or two of rest, quite frankly, because I had a really busy fortnight and then I had this whole week of classes and I don't feel like I've caught breath really or caught up with myself in ages. It's a bit messy in here, to be honest with you. It needs a blooming good hoover, needs decluttering and a good dusting. Oh, you won't believe this. I just bought a t-shirt from a local shop on the way home from the train station. It's a men's one. Might be a bit big. It was a fiver. I'm going to try it on and take it back if it doesn't fit. <laughs> it's, I can't even remember what colour it is. Hang on. Oh, it's green. They had black ones as well, so I, I got the green one. I thought, well, if it doesn't fit, I won't get another one. I'll take it back. And if it does fit, I will go and get another one. Anyway, in the interest of being restful and having some time off, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!